for family another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you hallelujah i want to share a little story from scripture but i'll give it my own flair or my own slant uh, this was actually a story that jesus told imagine this great and wealthy king who entrusts his servants with part of his wealth and some of the servants uh, or one of the servants um, came and got from this wealth quite a sizable chunk borrowed from the this wealthy king and then um, time came for him to pay back but unfortunately he, he didn't have the resources to pay back and the king in anger says they should throw this chap into jail but the chap now starts pleading that give me time I'll pay and out of compassion this king changes his mind and says okay because you are so repentant of this thing you've done I forgive you this debt I cancel the whole the whole thing and say go you don't have to repay anything and this guy as soon as he leaves the presence of the king goes out and now sees another servant junior to him who also excuse me owes him a paltry amount compared to what he owed the king remember the king has absolved absolved him of all guilt and cancelled his death his debt but he sees this servant and immediately grabs this servant on the truth on his neck saying come here you must pay me that which you owe me meanwhile remember he what's this other junior servant owes him is a paltry sum compared to what he himself originally owed the king he grabs this guy and arranges for unscrupulous <laughs> uh, military or law enforcement agents even gives them some money and they bundle this guy without any fair hearing and throw him into jail And then this great king gets to hear about this malady, this wickedness. Meanwhile, sorry, before this happened, the um, junior servant was pleading with this other guy, saying, please forgive me, I would pay, just give me some time. And the guy refused. He didn't even inform the man's relations. He just took, got the bad cops around. To bundle him and throw him into jail and then somehow word got out from jail about what had happened back to this king and the king blew his top that what a wicked servant i forgave him all that he owed me and is this paltry sum that he threw this guy into jail for the way jesus said it he said what that this king in his anger will bundle or bundled all this man's relatives, quote and unquote, including the man, and threw him into jail and threw away the key. The moral behind that is that God has forgiven you, has forgiven me, a debt that we could not pay. We were, or we deserved to be jailed quote-unquote, in a fiery jail that has everlasting torment. But he forgave us. He cancelled our debt and released us. And then we are expected to also absolve our fellow man of things that they are guilty of towards us or things that they owe us. But if we do not, and we hold them in bondage, that the great king, like as he did with his servant, 
will do to us and call us wicked ones. What will you do with this piece of information? Always relate with your fellow man on the basis of how God relates with you. You know that you were lost in sin and he forgave you every single thing. He's not holding anything against you. So likewise, go forth and do the same to your fellow man. Forgive. God bless you. Hallelujah.